Cher surprised all her critics while becoming a successful solo performer. She had her own hit TV show, a Time Magazine cover, and a closet full of Bob Mackie originals. But soon there were much talked about short-lived romances with Greg Allman, Gene Simmons, and Les Dudek, and less successful albums as she tried her hand at disco and then hard rock. But once again, Cher has surprised her critics as she tackles a field she only dreamed about before. Recently, we caught up with her at the UCLA campus to talk. You have made movies before, but this is the first serious role, right? Right. I made uh, about I made a movie 14 years ago, and I made, a, made another movie like 16 years ago. God, is that long? And um, they were both with Sonny. So yes, this is my what I consider my first film. Come back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean was a stage play. Yes. Which you also starred in. Yes. Along with the same people that are in the movie with yeah, everyone you. Everyone was the same. And it was a Robert Altman production. Uh, why did he want to stick with the same group? Or how did he pick you people out originally for it? Well, I think I could answer the second question easier. I think he was very happy with everybody's performance and felt really good about it. And I. I don't know how he picked everybody else out. He had everybody, I think, but two people when I when I joined the company, you know. And I think it was one. He didn't have Sissy, and he didn't have Joanne. And uh, I I don't know really why he took me. He just felt that I was right for him. Karen Black played Joanne in the film. You played Sissy. Yes. Originally, was it his idea to maybe cast you as Joanne? As Joanne, yes. What well, turned it around? Well, when I read the script. He, I said, who should I read, you know, when I read it, who should I read in mind, you know, as my part? And he said, oh, I'd just like you to read the script. And then after I read it, I said, well, I really like it. And he said, all right, I think you'd be good as Joanne. And I said, gosh, I, I really would like to be Sissy. He said, well, then why don't we both, let's keep an open mind and come over and we'll just read, you read both parts and we'll see what happens. And I read both parts and he said, I think you'll make a be better sissy. In seeing the film, I couldn't help but think about uh, the one character you played on the Sonny and Cher Sh show. <laughs> Laverne, yeah. Yeah. Was there any of Laverne and Sissy at all? I think there's a little Laverne in everybody, but I don't think that it's enough to really, it's like a Laverne is a very foundation kind of a thing. It's very deep and very pushed back because most people won't let that much come out, you know, that much being just gregarious and all that. But I think that the characters are very dissimilar, but there's some little inklings in both of them. What was the toughest part for you as a becoming a serious actress? What, what did you have to overcome? Getting a job. <laughs> as a serious actress. Yeah. People wouldn't accept you as one. And Altman was the first one to, to yes. go for it. Critics at first were surprised by your performance. Were you surprised when you saw it? Well, I I don't know. The first time I saw it, which was not very long ago, I saw it in November for the first time, in November, in the middle of November. And I, the first time I saw it, I didn't know what to think. And then I went back again a little while ago and I saw it. And I was, I was pleased. You know, you always see things you think, well, I wish I had done that, or I wish I was turning. and being happier. Tell us about your next film, Silkwood, the Karen Silkwood story. Yes, we've done, I mean, it's done. Uh -huh. It just doesn't, it doesn't come out. I think it's September it comes out. A little bit about it, you are? I can't really, I, I'm not at liberty to talk at all about it, and uh, I'm not really sure why, but I know that those are my wishes, and that's, that's what I'll wait to do until it's time to be talking about it. So with all the film work you're doing now, keeping the that. Uh, you just wrapped up your other film. What about your recording career? Is it on the back burner for It really is right now. I, I would love to do something. I hope that I, in my lifetime I get a chance to do something that's film and and uh, singing because I really I a enjoy musical? singing. Yeah, I'd really like to do that. And, and um, there's nothing right now, but I, I hope that something will come up. I just have a good feeling about being able to do something like that. You're moving from L.A. back to New York. How come? Well, I just I just feel that it's a better place for me to live. Sure, thank you. You're You're freezing with us. I know, it's, it's great. It's very cold in Los Angeles, where it's 22 degrees today. Is it really? No, it's not. Uh, yeah. I don't, but I mean, it's it about really 30. Feels. <laughs> it feels it, but you sit here long enough, it feels very cold. <laughs>